What's up guys? This is Mr. Tryhard from YouTube and I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod your world on Terraria. And yeah. So yeah, you just do this, wait for the world to generate. Okay, now to place blocks, you press the brush. And you can up the size on them, or you could just put one. And this is the lot to replace one. Let me make a tiny house real quick. Okay, and just erase some for the door. And you hit sprites for the door. Sprites. And type in door. Click filter. You can choose any door you want. But I just choose door A. And after that you click sprite again. And you hit the... It's three blocks so you have to hit the top one above it. And yeah, then after that you could um... More sprites. Type in chest. Shadow chest, that's the one I always choose. Then you can just place the shadow chest right there. Then you can get your pointer tool, that arrow. And you can right click on the chest box thing. And you can, em you can enter in whatever you want in the chest. Like headgear, helmet, leggings. I'm going to add a drill. And you can put the quantity of them. Two five. I normally do 255. You can make a legendary if you want to. That's what I always do. Legendary. You can add more if you want to. You can go up, to, I think, a lot actually in per chest. And then um, go to sprites again. I'll show you all of them they have in sprites. They have like a chair. Let me go to the top. Grass. Things like that. Trees. Sign, just do a sign. Then always click sprite again once you click on the item. Okay, like that. Then if you want to edit what it says, get your arrow tool again right there and right click it and type in what you want. Oh, also click save on the chest after you're done with it. I forgot to tell you guys about that. Um, then click like hi. I'm Mr. Hard and click save and yeah you could put the points and you could choose like spawn point just choose a spawn point um, brush then you could put like a wall let's put a random wall and let me make it bigger like that and you can also change it to eclipse so you can make it like odd like that just get the square tool off right there make it square I mean then you just edit this like that or you can just type in the number you want how tall you want the item and then you just click save these are all my worlds I have right now. Um, I can only have seven worlds per character, I think. So I'm gonna name it like World. Um, let's see, World Five. And then click Save. I guess override it. I guess because, yeah. <laughs> and then open up Horizon.
plug your USB in like I just did wait for Horizon to load it always takes forever to load but yeah <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, um, I just thought I'd make this video because I had trouble doing it at first, where um, I tried to make my own world on Xbox and it wouldn't freaking work. Then um, I decided to watch another tutorial, and he was not that clear on it. These are all the games I mod, um, and you go to worlds. and inject it in there world 5 go where you saved it at world 5 where are you there you are see then you just click save reaction resign after it saves click ok and now you're basically done. Now you can, that's how you put your X, I mean your PC world onto your Xbox. Where this editor only does PC worlds. So you just have to inject it like I did. And then, yeah, you could do it. So, hope you guys liked. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.